Yeah, so I am Mose Giordano. I'm a research software developer at um, UCL. And I will talk about uh, Fixize Arrays, which is a package that I work on with uh, uh, Oscar Smith and uh, Neven uh, Psycho. So um, the motivation for this package. So in Julia 1.11, uh, the memory object was introduced, which is great for representing uh, memory backend for arrays, but uh, it's a, a flattened 1D um, vector. So it's not very good for representing itself uh, multidimensional tensors. We also have Julia arrays, which now, uh, since 1.11, are based uh, on uh, memory. But the problem of the uh, array object in, uh, in, in base is that they are growable. You can change the size, which is fine, but also it's not very great for numeric applications where you don't change the size of a matrix or of a vector of a, of a tensor. You just use that. Uh, that, uh, that object for the entire computation. And the mutability, like being able to change the size, creates um, many problems for the compiler because it prevents uh, lots of um, optimization opportunities and also creates some other uh, extra allocations. So we created uh, this fixed size arrays uh, package, and this is the anatomy of the uh, main uh, structure. So it's a uh, immutable structure, um, which is three parameters, the type of the elements, the um, number of dimensions, and the memory backend. So notice that it has one extra uh, parameter compared to the standard array. So if you use the same number of parameters, like the first two, it's, a, it's not a concrete uh, type. Uh, so the fields then are the memory backend and the, the size. Since this is part of a immutable structure, this is all fixed, and especially the size is fixed. And so the compiler can reason about the fact, oh, uh, the size of this uh, array of this tensor is, is fixed and I cannot change it, and it will be constant throughout the entire um, computation. Uh, quick comparison with other popular arrays. So there is base.array, uh, which is very similar. The size is set at the uh, runtime. The uh, memory backend is memory. Uh, the elements are mutable, but um, you cannot change the size of a fixed size array uh, in contrast to the base.array. Uh, another mm, very popular package is a static arrays, uh, which also provides a fixed size array, but with the difference that the size is set at compile time instead of runtime. Uh, this can be useful in many cases because you can dispatch on the size, but also means that uh, com uh, compile time can be longer. And uh, also the memory backend is different. Uh, they are not growable. And specifically, the SRA type uh, uh, is not even mutable. So it's completely very different from a uh, fixed size array. Uh, and I want to stress again that fixed size array should be a uh, closer alternative to base.array rather than uh, static arrays. So now some showcases of where this package can be useful. So first of all, creating a, a fixed size array uh, takes fewer allocations than base.array, which is nice because it's, it has a simpler um, uh, representation. So like creating a, an empty vector takes no memory, which is cool. Uh, but then yeah, you're creating like 1, 2, 32, 1, 24 element arrays takes some memory because this is not like a tuple, uh, in, um, which is a backend of static arrays. So it needs to allocate uh, memory but it's slightly cheaper than uh, um, base.array. And also, if you have a uh, function which gets only the length of an array and you want to call it in another function, which is like creating this array, uh, if you do this on uh, uh, base.array, you find this terrible code generation because the compiler cannot uh, infer that the result will just be three because the, the, the size of the vector could, in principle, change, if it, even if it doesn't. Uh, instead, if you do this with fixed size arrays, the, with the same function definitions, but just change the type, you can see that the compiler can just return three, because it knows for sure that this is the size of the, um, of the array of the vector in this case, um, because uh, that's a, a strict requirement of the data type. Um, you also get some uh, better uh, um, inference of effects. Um, so for example, if you have a function which is reshaping an input vector into a two by two um, matrix, and you pass a base dot vector uh, of a three elements, uh, the compiler cannot know that this operation is consistent because it's actually always throwing. But if you do this with a fixed size arrays, uh, you get a, a 
uh, in France uh, of the effect that, yeah, it's, called, it's consistent, it's always throwing. Instead, if you pass a vector of four elements um, with a, a base dot vector, uh, the compiler cannot know that this function will never throw because, again, the size of the matrix could, in principle, change. Uh, instead, if you use a fixed size, array, uh, fixed size uh, vector, uh, the compiler can infer that this function will never throw because the uh, reshaping a four element vector into a two by two matrix is always possible. Um, also, uh, we get some nice uh, memory uh, improvement because the compiler uh, is able to um, completely remove memory allocations in some simple cases. Like this one, we uh, are defining a function which uh, creates a 250 element vector. Um, it fills with random numbers, so it's also doing some uh, effectful operations because it's changing the global state of the uh, random number generator and it's doing the sum using the fold function because it's simpler than the actual sum function. And uh, if you do this with vector, you get a uh, number of uh, memory allocations. If you do this with a fixed size arrays, uh, you get zero allocations because actually the compiler is able to remove the allocation and just do the sum uh, itself. In the, um, in the program without having to uh, allocate dynamically the, the memory. Uh, and also, um, just to show some more complicated examples, um, I, for fun, tried a uh, computed a gradient with the enzyme, and this was uh, quite a bit faster using fixed size uh, arrays. Uh, this is cool, but also it's not always the case. Also, I found other cases where uh, this was slower, but still, this shows that it's possible to actually get um, improve performance in um, combining with uh, 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 more advanced packages. And to conclude, there are still uh, lots of um, improvements possible in, in this package. Um, and, and especially, um, there are some compiler optimizations that are only available starting from Julia 1.12 and 1.13. I think Jorge discovered this a few weeks ago. Uh, so in 1.11, there are still some cases where uh, fixed size uh, arrays is can be slightly fast, uh, sorry, slower than a base dot array because of these um, uh, missing optimizations. And then probably we need to um, wire up some other uh, pieces of the array interfaces. So if you find places where it's missing some methods, definitions, open an issue or open a pull request to, um, to fix that. And probably the compiler analysis can be still improved, especially if we have uh, interprocedural escape analysis, we can re uh, remove even more memory allocations uh, in uh, fixed size arrays um, programs. And uh, as a last comment, we wish that the uh, base was from the beginning, uh, had this type from the beginning, and maybe list was a different type just for a growable container. But yeah, that, for, for mathematical operations, fixed size arrays it, it should be really a, a better abstraction. Thank you. So it's time for questions. Um, okay, maybe uh, maybe two if it's quick. Hey, looks really nice. Uh, I had a, a dumb question, but I thought a vector can change the shape, but I didn't know a matrix in base can change the shape. How do you do that in base? So I, I think until a few versions ago, you it wasn't possible even to change the. Um, the size of a matrix. I think there was a pull request at some point to be able to add rows or columns, if I remember correctly. But it's something weird to do. And still, we have this capability which prevents optimizations, but it, yeah, it's something weird to do. <laughs> yeah, uh, just a good question. Uh, have you compared the uh, performance to MRA? Uh, I already tried to say that it's not super. Um, comparable because they do different things. Um, I would expect to be slower in the cases where uh, MRA is better when you can dispatch on the type, on, 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 sorry, on the, on the shape, exact shape. Uh, but again, I don't think they're really comparable because they do slightly different things. And the thing, the fact that this is compile time fixed uh, and it's based on tuple has some differences. <laughs> 